pushing out to about 300 feet and got on some mahi got a few mahi in the box fish tacos later and we're gonna go out for some mahi mahi let's go all right we're just getting down to dock a that's where his boat is it's actually that one with the light on so yeah pumped excited motivated So we just got out to 300 feet, super blue water. We're gonna start putting in um, the gear. We're gonna start working the outriggers, pushing them out. Hey! This is Zach, he's the man. He's putting out the long right now. Putting the line on the outrigger, going out right there. And see if we can't uh, pick up some mahi or some tuna. Let's put out some uh, ballyhoo as well as some cedar plugs. So we're seeing some weeds, no fishing. We're just waiting for that first bite. First bites break the ice. Tons of flying fish. I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. Pretty incredible. They can fly upwards to 50, 100 yards. It's on. So when he gets yeah, close, yeah, yeah, okay, you're, going, good, you're good, you're good. Keep, keep reeling, keep reeling. He's coming up on the other side, All right, man. Take, take this rod out, Zach, and then go on that side. Dolphin. There, there you go, Harley. You got it. Real, 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 real. He's right here. You got it, but get real. <laughs> He's real and it just ain't coming. Back, back. There you go. He's just a little guy. Let's go. Fishing the boat. Look at that boy. We'll take it. Ice box. A bunch of scattered weeds, man. A bunch of mahi, too, bro. Long one? He's got one. Yeah. That's the song. Get him, yeah, boy. We want you to really? get that fish to the boat. Yeah, he's no, he's no, he's there. Just a little slinger, I think. Right. Where's that gap? Oh, he's it's going. Oh, uh, uh, start your side. That's going to turn the a little bit. Here. Right. Go behind his head. Oh, baby! Yeah, Tony! Let's go! Let's go! Yeah, man! Welcome to the Salty Twins. My name's Tony, Mahi in the boat. Thanks to Matt Simon. Simon says fishing charters all day out of Charleston, South Carolina. Look at that beautiful fish. That's how we do Let's it. Go. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Fish tacos! Fish tacos! Number two, in the box, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Got some dolphins right here. Got some poor fishes. Gosh, beautiful day. That's a fish? Fish on. Let's go. Fish on right here. That's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. What was on this one? Black and blue. White, black, and blue yeah. on a ballyhoo? Feather. Feather. On a feather. There you go, Matt. Does he have another one? Is there one right next to him? I think so. I'll gap him first. I think we might have two gaps. There is two dolphins there. There is? What's that fish rod? Here. Here, it's right here. Yeah, I think it's pulling it out. Flip it out too. Flip it out, Derek. He'll yep. come. They'll come and eat it real quick. Pass that thing out and let it let it drift back right now. Perfect. And just leave it open. Leave it open. Leave it open. Okay, that's good. Okay, neutral. Alright. That other one's sitting right there. Keep uh keep the starboard in here. I don't see a second one. He's fighting pretty good. We thought there was a a cow with him as well, but 
We don't think so. So we threw out a pitch rod with the cut ballyhoo, but he's going for the grass right now. Wait for the surface. I am. I am. Let's go. Nice ball, bro. Look at that one. Beautiful fish. Good job, Matt. All right, so we're going to fillet up the mahi. They have some head meat up here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to trace the body around, and then I'm going to fillet the top. I'm going to fillet the bottom, pull it off, and make a cut right behind its dorsal fin. Then I can feel the head. I'm just going to try to get as much of that head meat as I possibly can. Flip my knife around. I'm going to run my knife tracing the spine. You want to feel the spine with your knife. I'm just going to follow the fish all the way down. Flip the fish around. Work from the belly. Right above the anal fin. Follow that spine. Out the back end. I'm gonna work on the head first. As I run my knife down, I'm lifting up the meat. I'm just gonna cut that right here. Flip them around. I'm gonna run my knife. You guys had a good day. All the way up. The whole bag looks cool. It is. <laughs> <laughs> the big spine. Just cutting through that right now. There you go. Just like that. There you go, some mahi mahi meat. What an awesome day yesterday was. First time I've ever caught a mahi mahi. We ended up catching four. I showed you how to clean it. Now we're going to cook it. All I did was the mahi mahi last night. I cut them into strips and I'm just going to bread them. You can use whatever breading you want, but we just kind of made our own. I'm going to bread it and then we're going to fry it up. I'm just going to coat our mahi mahi in this breading. We're going to be making some mahi mahi fish tacos today. And this is actually the fish that I named my dog after. Our Australian Shepherd is named Mahi. This is him. Mahi, come here. Come here. This is Mahi right here. Huh. And I gave him some of the mahi mahi meat already. And he loved it. Oh, boy. What? He's four. He's awesome. Yeah, if you guys have, you know, some mahi mahi recipes that you like or fish tacos whatnot definitely let us know in the comments below we're all for trying new things so that's it now it's breaded now we're going to start frying them up so now that the oil is ready you just lay it right in the oil and you'll leave it there for about three or four minutes till it's uh, about 60 percent cooked and then i'll flip it now we're cooking mahi mahi this is crazy Cooking mahi mahi, making mahi mahi tacos. The biggest advice I could ever give to you is follow your dreams. We moved out here, knew no one, ended up meeting a guy through a Facebook group. Um, he's been working on his boat a little bit, and we were able to, you know, build a friendship. And we went out and harvest, harvested some mahi mahi. So solid, solid guy. Uh, Matt, he, he's an incredible human being. He's an incredible captain. He's extremely experienced. If you want to do, you know, inshore, near shore, offshore, um, kind of want to cruise around, he'll handle everything for you. Again, all the information is going to be linked in the description below. We're just waiting for these mahi mahi to finish up cooking. The fish are about 60% done, so I'm going to start flipping them. Nice and crispy. Got some golden brown on them done now so we're going to start taking them off i lay it right on that towel and the towel should be able to soak up most of that oil and that's the last one right here there we go they're all done ready for fish tacos so now that the mahi mahi is done finished and cooked what we're going to be doing is we're going to put it all together so i start off with the cabbage i'm going to use a little bit of our secret sauce what i'll do is i'll lay the fish on the taco, the mahi mahi. I'll put some cheese on, and since the fish is still hot, hopefully the cheese melts. Just drizzle the cilantro over top of the fish. Add a little bit more sauce. I just take little cherry tomatoes, cut in half. Two cherry tomatoes per taco. And then the last little bit is gonna be your green onion. 
and then of course some more sauce and that's the fish taco Whew, the mahi mahi fish taco let's go we made this before with mahi that we bought but we've never made it with mahi that we've caught and today is going to be the first time so let's see how this tastes here goes the first bite here you guys go Mmm. Yes. Oh my gosh. Baby. That's so good. Yeah, this has got to be one of the top ones. I gotta say, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal taco. The Mahi Mai meat, it's super firm, so it helps, so it holds together. Yeah, and that's kind of what you're looking for in a taco. You're looking for that meat to stay together. If you get a super flaky fish and a fish taco, like it just all falls apart. Bro, this is delicious, super easy to cook, super easy to make. Most of our fish tacos are the same because they're freaking bomb. They're super good. But we'll be making some new dishes. But again, we are so grateful for you guys. Thank you so much for following us on this journey of ours. It's just the beginning. It's gonna get absolutely insane, absolutely crazy. Again, my name's Tony. Welcome to the Salty Twins. <laughs>